any time now because my clock says it's one after. But All right. Yeah, this is in a perfect world, and I'm still Flash. And, that's, and I'm Vinny. That's still Vinny over there. Yes. Over in the other side of the world. 55 years old today. Dead. Well, at 7.02 p.m. And a happy birthday to you. Thank you. I'm trying to reconnect to the uh, chat room here. Yeah. I've been getting kicked out here, and now it's doing stupid slow stuff. But anyways, I'll be back in there in a minute. I had to get your link from uh, the Ponder Gander. He doesn't get kicked out very often. No, well, yeah. whatever. I, I'm i not playing all that <laughs> ah, ah, stuff. You, well, hello, mm, everybody. Thank you. And, uh, uh at Real Liberty Media. This is reallibertymedia.com. Uh, it's a, in a perfect world today. Absolutely. Since well, perfect I, world. Perfect. Yeah. In every respect of the word, perfect. And, uh, hey, Graham, thanks for all the help doing the radio stuff and such. And uh, saying hi there. to the bots and the bodies tonight will be... Mm-hmm. The birthday boy. <clears throat> All righty. Take well, it I, away, I, Vincenzo. I guess that's perfect timing because I just got connected back and I'll have to connect to the other chat rooms. Uh, but we'll say hello to our mods up here, our, our bots and bodies. That's it. Barman and Beetle and Grimner and Loose Girl got the uh, A with the long circling tail. What is that called? The what A with called? the long circle. What the hell are you yeah. talking about? This thing. I'll post it right in chat. Well, what thank is that thing you. called? Oh, that's the at sign. An amp- 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 no, an ampersand amp- is the end. Amp- this is an ampersand. I'm not then, sure what, what that is thing is called. Well, one's see, it didn't give me the way. Adderist. One's an adderist. I no, don't know. That's the- six. That should have done that. Should have been that. There. That's an ampersand. But the, the at mark, what is that supposed to be? Nerd Somebody alert! We need we need a ruling on the in a perfect world podcast and from the chat room of the reallibertymedia.com. Before going Vinny's going to say hello to you people, you got to answer his question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm joining in the chats here. There we go. There we go. All right. Here I am back over here to the bots and bodies. You're you saying nothing. Pay to who? Oh, shush. I've been waiting for you to quit fucking around and saying hey to the bots and bots hey, out here in a electronic land where all the computer people play. Our computer people play. Uh, well, I'll pick back up with Anti and Asmo and Chalcedony, Exelon, Java Doctor 2, Judge Dredd. Our very own Hansel, nice <laughs> brow, and he's off uh, doing some uh, stuff in Tucson, I think, today. Hmm. And we've got Poopster and Prince, who do radio oh, yeah. here Thursday nights. Thursday Kate night. Kate and yes. Rob works. Rob and Rob works. And there's, there's Vanna. Hey, Rob's Good, a Vanna. fellow, fellow uh, Arkansas you're now <laughs> from Texas. <laughs> And Vinny's there's taking our, hostages. <laughs> there's, there's our uh, there's our other bot, Vanna White, the letter turner. And uh, me, Vinny, and Weather mm. Dork, and Phantom, and CC666 is actually a very uh, popular person over on Twitter. He's followed by some people of big name. And, uh, name droppers. Lots. Okay, big yeah. deal. Let people Chascura. just be part of the group. Relax. No, Breathe. No. Chascura. No. Can you say it? Chascura. No, I don't think Cir- I can. Circle. Um, That's your what are you talking about? Hello. Hello. She's, she's not here. Well, I love Circle. She's, she's a wonderful upstairs person. Now. She is one of my most favorite people in the world. <laughs> she really is. And she sang me happy birthday. In her Danish, native language, yep. yes, that was cool. My mom used to sing me happy. Yeah, birthday. but they they do they do that here for the birthdays. That's nice. I've I been like to it. the birthdays. They are 
very Danish. <laughs> Here's okay. Cyborg Noodle, and uh, that's another bot that belongs to uh, uh, Sock Puppet. <laughs> and we got Duh, and E Man, and Ensiv, and mm. you, Flash mm. Somebody. Hello, And me. my favorite, yeah. Canadian. Ah! Uh, yes, besides Windsor, Canadian. Wait a minute. I thought <laughs> Chloe was. No, Chloe's not Canadian, is she? She's a Kentuckian. It's close enough. <laughs> no. That, that's, uh, that's borderline Yankee territory up there, though. Up, uh, up uh, in the northern parts. Yeah, okay. they kind of interchange. It's like mixed between Yankees and Southerners. And, well, Frumpy, that's him. You got something going in the background. You got something very loud. Oh, my TV. Gone. Yeah, hold on. And Gromit and our own Scotsman right here, JJ's 99.9. Did I and kill it there, Vinny? Uh, thank uh, you. Yes. Yeah, they, they were watching it before they left. There's a, oh, yeah. Hmm. There's uh, me, the, the constant ponder gander. Hmm. The name does not change. Unlike the many Vinnies, uh, the perspectives and ponderings uh, that I gander upon. Yeah, your weird holiness. We, we got it. And Pond Sauce and Real Donnie Wu. The the actual real Donnie Wu. <laughs> you ask who? Well, Donnie knows. And Sock Puppet and Smart Ass. That is uh, our Rob's uh, bot who does nice tricks. Ah. Then we've got the holiest Roger of them and, all. Yeah. yeah. And there's Zippix. Mm. K Pax's cousin is in town. Hey, hey, hey. It's the Bob. rumor I'm going to start I'm telling you. Hey. And there's uh, Gooberzilla. Uh, Goober. Yeah. That is uh, he... Hawk. You know what? I've never given his uh, name out here. But uh, I will tell you, it uh. starts with a T. Wow. The what did you do that for? Hey, don't start doing that. You know, yeah. You, know, you wouldn't uh, like it if somebody did that to you if you didn't want them to do it to you. So be nice. Well, no, I didn't tell his name. I just said no, it it's still. Yeah, come on. It's pointless. It's not Stop. Tommy. It's not there. We go. Tommy. <laughs> now, now Vinny's got, on one of his tears. We'll never stop. We got him. and it's his birthday. It's probably still. Yeah, drunk. it's my birthday. It's Are you still birthday. drunk from yesterday? No, I got slammed last night. Oh, quick, Freddie Town update. For the uh, new year here. For actually for the fifth year that we've been here. Something happened in town tonight that required law assistance. And what the weird part about it was usually I'll, I'll meet Cirque at the train and she'll take the dog on a walk. And I go and get the stuff we need from the grocery. And tonight nobody wanted anything from the grocery. So I just... Gave her the dog and decided to go back home. And as I'm going home, I hear sirens, <clears throat> police sirens. I knew there was police sirens by the, the tone, it just a little higher than the ambulance. And they were going faster. You could hear the traffic. Well, anyway, Cirque meets me home later on, and we're looking at live uh, TV of armed cops at the grocery where I go <laughs> and, wow. and if I had decided to go to the grocery instead of going home instead chances are I would have been right in the parking lot when all this happened <laughs> wow yeah and I've been here five years and I'm so what you, I, what all happened then? I'm not sure you? yet we, we we saw a little bit of a video link or something of uh, cops in the parking lot up at the grocery store where, where we live but we don't know what the story is yet. The people that are related, uh, the people that are related, find out before they relate to the the news and the internet. Hmm. Things are a little more restricted here. This is in America, man. Well, we got all that freedom of speech, and you can, you know, you can tell people to fuck off here. You just can't shoot them. Over where I'm from, you can shoot them, but don't dare tell them to fuck off. You're a bad Wonder man. You is. said fuck. But hey, go shoot somebody. And they'll give you paid vacations. <laughs> a trip to Lourdes. <laughs> Get 
get to go kiss the wall. <laughs> Follow the great guy's footsteps. Anyway, what's up, Vincent? It's your birthday. <laughs> Yay! I was and, going uh, yeah. crazy here. So here's the stories that y'all ever from Tuscura about the uh, Canadian distilleries had to get fungus expert in because a species of mold had moved in and was metabolizing. Uh, what? Wait, Say is, that word. is this a link? Metabolizing the alcohol. Yeah, oh, you're just reading. Okay, you're yeah. just reading the line. Okay. Yeah, but I can't say the word. So Metabolizing. 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 Yeah, thank you. Metabolizing. Yeah. Metabolizing. <laughs> hey, it happens to all of us. Come on. Uh, I listen when I when I get a, a, yeah. a taco yeah. like a typo. You know, <laughs> I can't unstick it. It's like a stuffed. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, well, there's been a few good ones on the RLM, too, over the years. My favorite pr probably is still when Rob Rob wrote Meat Hod instead of Method. <laughs> Meat Hod? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't know why that stuck, but it must be the perv in me, I suppose. You know, a word I couldn't say for and look straight at it forever was a glyphosate. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. And it's written bizarrely, too, on purpose, just so, so that you'll have that. You know how Mary is about her we, uh, we're chanting things when we speak out loud, certain words that you would never, ever say because of the way they've made English. You'll say them now, <laughs> and you don't know it. The order they're in is wrong. But... Hmm. Well, there's correct and proper grammar and all that horse shit, but if you go beyond the rules and regulations of the game, you know, you got dumb dude I luck hanging out in there somewhere. You know? But English. Whew, a little luck and a little English will carry you through just about anything in life. What will? A little bit of luck and a little oh, knowledge luck. of English. Sure, it, look. Life is a, it's a word game, basically. It's even when you're in person, you're you're not looking at somebody's vast, you know, lifetime of experience. You're just sitting talking about something. Like we are now. Then you open you know, up whatever door you want to, go in whatever room you please. I was called a wordsmith by an FBI informant one time. Ooh. Let's have a give Vinny the mic for a little brag time on in a perfect world. Have it. Vinny. Yeah, I, she, she's blocked me. It's MD Louder, and uh, I met her in Vegas at the uh, trial. She was, I, I gave her credit where credit was due. She was brave to go up there and be by herself and stand against uh, the Bundys. And, but uh, she has a lot of hate in her heart. She claims to be a Mormon, but uh, from words that she used, I would suspect that she's not a good Mormon. Um, they. They quoted her. Uh, who was it? Uh, uh, was it Leah Satilli or was it uh, uh, that other girl from High Country News? Interviewed her and used her. And I guess she got a little flack about that because, uh, yeah, she's not really a good source, I'd say. Would you think that it's good to uh, know everything there is to know about something on both sides of the issue or um just look for like an echo chamber and uh, confirmation bias and it, that sort of thing. But it depends on how you mean everything there to know. Some some things are so large you can't know everything. You can know some right. stuff. I mean, right. It depends on the topic, Vince. I topic, think, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, or the uh, whatever specific you're you're not directly saying. <laughs> you kind of beating around the bush with this one a little bit. Well, we got specifically, you know, on the, uh, the the land issues and so forth out west with all this on the, the Bundy thing. Okay, but in court, are you allowed to bring in... See, you got to play by all these rules and regulations, so, yeah. The game's rigged from the gate. Doesn't I think yeah. it's just a word game. You know, I was, I was watching a movie today, oddly enough, and, and it was about a murder. And the cops are using this kind of jibber jabber talk on the movie and it made me think and what they were saying is we have to ask every question exactly right and i'm thinking wait a minute the, the fuckers murdered somebody but you have to ask every question right to prove that he did that so where I, 
where the okay well what got me about the movie was wasn't the physical proof it was the words that they asked to get to make their case of murder <coughs> so you know a word game or a reality what are we doing here you know it'd be my opinion because they'll say uh whatever objection not relevant i don't think that there should be any exemption of anything in a courtroom whatever anybody wants to say uh let the jury decide for themselves but when you start censoring what type of information is allowed in there then how can you ever hope to have the truth the whole truth and nothing but that's that's the biggest lie mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. judge gloria navarro had uh uh ej parker ejected from the courtroom and disallowed his testimony and struck him everything he had to say from the record and then what does she do she comes along in the end and says huh well it looks like uh he was right you know because they just missed all the charges with prejudice <laughs> because of the crook they they're so blatant in, in the the prosecution is so blatant in what they do that they don't even care that what they're doing is not right and they're so used to getting away with it it was like they were dumbfounded Wait so, a minute. This should be dismissed because we lied and covered up stuff and denied the information that they were trying to present. A, yeah. a normal day at work with a different ending. <laughs> These people are evil, man. And you know what? It's oh, so please funny. explain this to me. I, I have it's, no idea. It is so funny how their names hmm. line up. Let's go to uh -oh. Denver. Remember, I went to Denver. Oh, yeah. For Bruce Doucette's trial. Happy birthday, because Vincent. Smile. Smile. You. Smile. Okay. Well, just don't yeah. get all mad at the me. Judge, the at judge's me. name is Spear. Yeah. Oh, and Robert Shapiro. Robert Ship mm -hmm. was the prosecutor, and his assistant's name was Wart. <laughs> <laughs> I remember some of this. Yeah, you've yeah. told me before. <laughs> and the, uh, <laughs> the appointed uh, U.S. Marshal from the the Denver uh, Sheriff's Department. His, yeah. uh, his name was Byrne. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, uh, let me let me ask you a birthday question. Because okay, just that I'm. I just want to do this real quick. <laughs> did Did you get uh, the last year of your of your existence on Earth? Right. Did you get everything that you wanted to get? Yeah. Okay. Mostly. You no. Ah. Okay. Mostly. So you had a goal and you missed it. Oh, no, 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 not that. No, there would be, if I had a bucket list, there's only one thing that's left off, I guess. Uh-oh, and is it safe to talk about on the radio, or is it like, you know, having intercourse with a room full of females? Um, no, it's, well, it's <laughs> my, my son, yeah. I oh. Seen him since he's a little boy, and mm. he's still not talking to me, but mm. I've had uh, two godsons in the meantime, and my godson this morning... He says, happy birthday, Vince. Give me a big hug and tell they love me. Dude, that's awesome. How, how mushy for you. You're, yeah, you insert big mush buckets. But, uh, well, no, it's good. It's good all that stuff's going on. But see, it's like my normal is the cops are at the grocery store looking for somebody. You know, I grew up with all that kind of drama all the time in L.A. And I've been without it for so long, it's just got, wow. So while you're, you know, going on about <laughs> past cases, I just want to make sure you're smiling. <coughs> this shit's nasty. It is nasty. <coughs> this ain't nasty. It but, makes you cough, but it's good. Yeah, but, you know, we live we live in a, uh, in a individually, I would assume individually everybody lives in a nasty world. But in a collective you know, whenever you get too many of us together, it's just always a nightmare, no matter what. And I, I was pretty close oh. with, uh, I think, 10,000. Because when we moved here, the population was a little smaller than it is today. Because they've added a little bit here, a little bit there. So they've had a little bit of growth. And with growth comes crime. Like I've mm -hmm. always said, because it's what I grew up learning. Yeah, you want to, you, <laughs> if you want to live peacefully amongst other people live small it took me a while to learn it but i figured it out yeah i like it where i live out here in the country 
but I also like to go on a staycation and go visit a city, stay for a while, especially Las <laughs> Vegas. That's uh, been my second home since 1969. That's yeah. a lot of years ago, isn't it? I don't know, is it? In, in yeah, some ways, I can remember things that happened in that year. And yeah, it seems like a while ago. But, and in some ways, it kind of seems like yesterday. It depends on the topic of what I'm thinking of, I would say. Well, let's find out what time it is. Hmm. Um, I can get a good one to come out. Where is it? Time and date? Is that going to do it for me? No, probably not. <clears throat> Where day. is no. it? Uh, 420. Oh, Everywhere. Time. Somewhere. Nowhere. 420. Grumpy time. land. Canada. Where? I, you know, I think that Trump should you know, make Canada the 58th state. Well. Because Obama said there was 57, and I believe him. I think it was the only thing he told the truth about the whole time he was in office. What? What? God thought fab. What's a God thab? But it's 420 and God thab, Greenland. Yay! <laughs> and also in, uh, I can't say that word, M I Q U E L O N, Mikalon. Is that? It's probably a French sounding word, but I, I have no it. idea. I, I can't also, see it. St. Pierre. Yeah. It's, uh, hmm. and in, uh, Noranja, Brazil, and South Georgia. Yes, that's right. South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. It is 420. How do you like that? Oh, are they are they cheese sandwich islands? <laughs> it says South Sandwich Islands. South Sandwich. That's what the, hmm. you know, do you think. Uh, I've never eaten a South before. You think uh, that's what they named the sandwich from, or did they name no. the island after no. the sandwich? Actually, I re I read a story, but it's probably not true. But a lot of people have tried to take credit for how the sandwich was named, but uh, it would go with back who thought of it. But it would be who thought of it first too, I would assume. But in English, right? In England, supposedly there was some gambling guy would play poker for day, day and a half, and demand a meal while he was playing, and they'd put two pieces of bread with meat inside it. Ta-da! The Earl of Sandwich has a sandwich. Hmm. But, like I said, I don't know whether I believe that one, but it's a fun story. <laughs> I hear, you know, over the years, I've heard history, and I've heard tales. And sometimes it's turned out that the history was the tale. And the tale was history. Well, I'm going to tell you, the <coughs> South Sandwich Islands is way out, uh, well, straight <laughs> due east from uh, the Falkland Islands. Well, and I never <laughs> even knew about it until I looked it up one time before. <laughs> and I've never, been, never been there. Anyway, so you want to talk about islands tonight? Uh, or black seed oil. Islands in the stream? No. Somebody connected, talked to me here. What is it? I don't know. Oh, they said your name and my name. Who did? Right here, barman did. Tweeted it out. Sure Tweeted did. It out. Yeah. Okay, so what? Yeah. yeah. What? I don't get what you're saying. You're confusing me about tweeting. Oh, I don't have Twitter open. Head. Yeah, barman tweeted it. Hey, it you know what? The, I think radio. I think that I, as an American, you should like give a class to other people, other cultures, on let's dwell on the problem because okay. nobody beats a dead horse like an American. Do it. Yeah. Where's your wall? Oh, uh, I hmm. got four walls. No, not your house walls. The big wall. The important wall. You know, the Trump wall. A magnificent uh, wall. A, wa a wall where you want to take your girl to go get some. You know, the wall. <laughs> of 
course that's not going to ever happen. You know that, right? They'll build a no. little here. And They'll build a little, little there. there. What would it cost to build an 1,800-mile-long wall? <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're just... <laughs> they're crazy. You know, there's like uh, different things here. So, Chuck Kakura is posting that sandwiches are thousands of years old in China. Of course they are. Uh, uh, I you know said they call, somebody wanted to get credit for naming it. Cause yeah. It was, it's, yeah, of course. Well, as what I was saying, people call their, they don't call it a sandwich in China, I'm pretty sure. I've never been to China. I don't My know. My brother has. Well, then ask your brother, what are you asking me for? I'm not Chinese. I ain't asking you. You know what? I'm going to rebel. I was going to tell you, in England, see, yeah. you've been to England, so you oh, yeah. testify to this, uh, what? that biscuits are, are not really biscuits. Well, the whole English food chain is different than us. They have a lot of staples for different meals that we would not want to do. Or it wouldn't, it wouldn't catch on very. Like they have baked beans with breakfast. Really? Big old fucking plate full of all kinds of different sausages, eggs. Yep. Yeah. Be- That's um, strange. No baked beans. It's a. See what I mean? That's strange. To you, it's watch an old Beatle clip of the damn um, breaking up of, of Let It Be, and you'll see me eating beans, beans and toast with John Lennon. George. Really? It's I've never angle. been crazy. You, you said, the the look, I lived in the fucking place. I'm, what do you think? Right. I, and then that was in Scotland too, though, not just England, but that whole English. But the food is, I don't, they're, they're preparation. I grew up with Mexican style, you know, and the, the English are more bland and they're less on the spices and more on the, I don't know, grease. <laughs> they like, Lots of grease, I think. Like the fish and chips. Terrible. Just terrible. Terrible? I didn't like it. I See, here we go. I'm like Mikey with food. I like fish and chips. See, you probably would. And, but I didn't care. I don't mind it if it's done right. But the stuff that I had, nah, I didn't like it. Just you tolerable. You know what kind of makes me mad? What? Is that, uh, yeah, they call call them french fries mm. i think we ought to protest and call them <laughs> chips french fries call them tater, what they, tater chips that's what they call tater them chunks. they call tater them chunks. chips no they i'm don't. gonna i'm going for tater chunks they call Look, them there's chips. a picture i posted potato chips are right chip, are crisps and potatoes are chips fish are chips get it potato chips not potato french chips. yeah but they call them the uh, store bought shit crisps instead of potato chips. Huh. Well, there's a picture. I, I forget where at in China this is here, but there's my brother and his, uh, his wife Uh-oh. in China. Wow. Why are you doing that? Because we was talking about China. Ah, we were. Well, okay. yeah, I was. We with, were. With Chascuda, where he posted yeah. about the sandwiches in China. But, but yeah, many, you, you know, you know. Listen, let me give you a little a language lesson here. Okay. If you in the in some parts of the deep south, they say tobacco. Yeah. They call it backer. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I've so been down the south. Yeah. It's related to like let's say, uh, up in Maine, if there's a R in the word, you don't say it, and if there's not one, put it in there. Like so, Marsha would be Masha, lobster would be lobster. What? These all relate back into the English. Then, uh, you know what? An English person, they always put an R on the end of the word, the word it seems like, like saying China. So my sister-in-law, I try to give her a hard time in uh, saying China. It's not China. It's China. China. Yeah, but there's always different dialects in every language. It doesn't matter what language it is. Yeah. Unless it's like a well, real small tribe. Well, they learned English, you know, a lot of Chinese learn English mm. from the, uh, you know, from like Hong Kong mm-hmm. English, okay. which uh, it mimics the uh, um, British mm-hmm. in their occupation. Until they got out in 90-something, 99. Yeah, that, that was the 100-year uh, thing. Yeah, they leased the it. Yeah, they had to go. Time to go. 
now they're supposedly, well, now that they're gone, it went to shit, supposedly. But we don't know. We just get told stories, unless you're there and you can tell somebody, hey, I saw this happen. How the fuck do you know what's going on? If I hadn't seen what I saw on the internet from the live camera and recognized the parking lot the cop was in, I wouldn't know. Because I, I don't speak Danish, but I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> so, hmm. But Cirque does, so Cirque will always tell me. And if I can't trust Cirque, well, then fuck it. <laughs> oh, I'm criminal said my brother's wearing a dress with a swastika on it. I didn't notice the swastika. Wow. See, now you see what it. you've done. You corrupted everybody's mind, pervert. Is that a swastika? Oh, yeah. it is. Look, you. there is a swastika. Yeah, is that the two right of them. rotation or is that like the Indian swastika? Uh, the India. Uh, Thanks, Google. It's a good, good question. See, life isn't about symbolism. I keep trying to tell you that. Symbolism doesn't mean anything. Shit, what are you people crazy? Oh. Hello? I don't even know what they call that thing anywhere. I got to send them an email and have them call me. Though. That's, whatever it is, it's just wrong. More ways than I can count. At this it's, point. it's. I need to hit Chinese my pipe. Garb. I think you you're you've burnt my corneas with that picture, sir. I'm I'm personally offended. <laughs> you know she, uh, <laughs> Yin Yin is my uh, Mei Mei. That means little sister. She was in an auto, auto accident. Oh, and was in very bad. Oma for for a very long time, and they uh, said that she would not come out of it, but she did. Oh. She, has, uh, wow. she has some traumatic, traumatic uh, brain injury that uh, uh, oh. is a bit of a problem. Uh, but, hey, hey, she's alive. She's alive. Hey. Yes, thank you very much, your wife. The wife is doing the, the tea service tonight. Oh, there you yeah. go. Hey. Man, you get what you give in life, and sometimes you just got to remember that. That's right. So, yeah, you know, life sucks. It's not my life that sucks. So, hmm, I wonder who it is. I have a great life. I know, you redneck. You redneck liver outside in the atmosphere kind of fucker with the wildlife and the plants and shit. But, you know, it got so cold now, we have to stay in the house. Good. It's cold, cold there? No. I know it's actually. I think Grim's got it colder than we do right now. Here's uh, somebody. <coughs> it's Ken, folk. He's not a easily delighted, which mm. uh, was my. I think it was Ooh, my grandma's sister either. married Johnny Whited, and this is his son. Uh oh. So you're going on nostalgic or what? Yeah, I remember going over there mm. uh, to Aunt Phony's house when mm. I was a little boy. And my okay. Great grandma and grandpa lived over across the way over there. You got an answer uh, to your swastika question there on the oh, RM yeah. chat. Yeah. Well, from let me your, come back. From your buddy, Chaskira. It's the fourth line up from the bottom there, sport. You know, from Eurasia. But we should get on to him for using Wikipedia. Well, he, before he used that, he used something else, I guess. I see but, type. Uh, After Gooberzilla left, I see type. So you figure it out. Whatever. It was an answer. I don't really care. I was just making, you know, a joke because your brother was wearing a dress. Uh, I found it fucking amusing, sir. Excuse me. I don't think it's a dress. Okay, it's whatever dress, it is. I mean, okay. in the typical definition of dress in, in English. All right, because when it, when you go out into the public forum. In wherever I live or have lived, clothes from the top to the floor, if they're not overcoats, would be bizarre. Sorry, I've grown up. I'm a grown old guy now. I, I, all this new shit's weird. Well, I carry a bag, and uh, mm. my cousin out in Vegas, he uh, wanted to like give me a hard time and call it a purse. Mm. So uh, he's in the casino one time, and I said. Hey, baby, hold my purse for me, will you? And, uh, <laughs> he turned red. And <laughs> away. He never called it a purse. 
Hey, that's how you teach people, man. <laughs> He's a big old boy, too. Ouch. Well, he so. was so little when we were kids. This ah, is uh, one builds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what's your point, man? What do you? Oh, what, what, what? you got me off into nostalgia. And thinking ah. about things. And you talked about a dress, and it reminded me of my purse. Mm. I carried my purse home with a half a half gallon whiskey. In hey, you know what? I'm going to give what? you a birthday gift as a Jew. I feel I can do this. My Jewish side okay. can do this. Yeah. So for your birthday, I'm giving you the opportunity to cre take credit for somebody else's hard work. Okay. There you go. Anybody on the planet, it's on them. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't think you'd really do that, though. What would I, I not do? Tell me that again. Uh, I'm not sure I understood. Would you ever really take credit for other people's hard work? Something somebody else did that you didn't do? Would you go and, eh, I did that when oh, you didn't? No. Mm -hmm. Well, as a Jew, I think I could grant you the, the right to do that. <laughs> I don't think you my can. people There's do problems. it. We do it all Listen, the time. One of my nomers uh, is uh, just to paraphrase plagiarist, mm -hmm. but I always source until I forget sometimes, or uh, if there's no longer a good link. Like on my uh, my page that is no longer accepted on uh, community standards on Facebook, reallibertymedia.com, all reallibertymedia.com. I haven't tried posting the new one yet. But, we have been uh, kicked off as uh, against community standard. Yeah, MERS, that's stupid. I I'd rather be called a purse than a MERS. Somebody at my, at my, uh, uh, what, what, what year was it? 30 year know. reunion? Yeah. Was it 30? I think it was 30 year class reunion. I don't know. Somebody, a girl says, oh, it's a MERS. It's the same bag I've been carrying too all these many years. Uh, and I said, Listen, sweetie, just call it a purse or a bag, one of the two. Let's not try to church it up. Ah. Does it bring the brown out of your eyes? I have blue eyes. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I, was, I wasn't even fucking close. Well, you got eyes, right? <laughs> yeah. Ah, the eyes have it. Well, there you go. <laughs> I was close. If I, if I had a dollar for it, the what? number of times I've been told about my eyes, I'd be rich. Right. Okay. Wow. Okay. Vinny's mental breakdown is coming to you live on reallibertymedia.com tonight. I think I should roll In a, a perfect world where, yeah, roll a doobie. Because I'm telling you, Scooby, you need a doobie. You know, speaking of Scooby, speaking of Scooby needing a doobie, you, the, the people need that doobie. need the, the most help seem to be the ones that think they have the most help to give. <laughs> and and us selfish potheads that, you know, sit around and you know, roll our little cigarettes, share them with our close friends. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, I I'm just never going to get it, Benny. We're all fucked up. Mm. That's well, look, that cannabis, okay. cannabis, we have cannabinoid receptors in our brain, and, and it does not kill brain cells. Marijuana. I'm just talking about the prejudice uh, of idiots that people have these freaking learned behaviors from <laughs> education, religion, politics, about the evils of marijuana. All these years of it, right? And now they've turned it around, but. Government wants to control it. So where did it change? Uh, really, at know. all? I don't know, but it's called a haversack, I guess. Okay. Has has the quality of your life improved any since their uh, turnaround and making it legal to smoke and use cannabis? They uh, they made it, I think, about three years ago. Right. Uh, medical Medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. Which the, the word wordings were you know all wrong. Anyways, not marijuana. Capture it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I don't know why they keep doing that. I really don't. To Except control it, the, it's a that's it. Right? It's a fiction. Yeah. It's like anything else. It's a plant. You can't patent a plant. So how did they ever make a law against one specific freaking plant? And and we we were raised around idiots 
that believe this shit. You wanna you wanna hear something of my grocery route? I don't know. Uh, are you gonna shit in my granola and then put a Close. gun to my head or something? What? What? Close. What? Close. Close. I Close. ate a shit house tomato this morning for my birthday. Okay, and that's gross because what? Well, because it grew out of the lateral line. And well, I hope you washed your hands first. <laughs> And if uh, not, you see living out, out, living like like a human in the, this time in life too. You, your immune system's got to be way beefed up better than people that live all crowded together, sucking up all the same air and all the same you know illnesses and all that shit. Get go get your kid fucking inoculated, and then they come home and spread it to everybody else, make them all yeah. sick. My. And, my son is affected a little bit by his vaccines, and um, there you go. That's uh, what retarded. I seen it happen when I told her, crazy I begged man. her, begged her. She says, "I have to. It's the law." The I law. Said, you take an Jeez. exemption. You don't have to. No. You won't but, say they won't let them go to school. Uh, I said, "Yes, they yeah. will." There's yeah. An exemption. Let them go. Tell them you have religious and moral and any other convictions against it that you want to. There, well, see, all there is. To uh, sell the shit is is the force and the, and the lies. <laughs> when when you get told the truth, if you can't read this and realize, whoa, that is the truth, then you're gonna be stuck with the, you know, wanting other people to get get this. So the question I have is, if this shit works so well and it's so fucking wonderful, why don't you have the people that make it go on live internet and have their self inoculated with the shit. Well, you know what else you can't do? Wait a Facebook. minute. I wait. Are you good? What else? I thought that was pretty damn good. You're just going to walk yeah, all over it? it? All? Wow. Yeah. They're, they're well, I centric. stole it. It wasn't no, my idea. I'm adding to it. To oh. What you just said. Ooh, yeah, they're not allowing it. that stuff. They're not allowing that to be posted on Facebook anymore. Anything about vaccines. Yeah, I read um, that. I read that on yeah. Mons today, I think, or yesterday. Yeah. Well, well, how many years ago did I tell you, fuck this goddamn Facebook mess. It's a joke. Get off. You it. know what? It, mm. it is doing what I, I've originally joined Facebook for, and that was to, you know, connect to friends and family. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it, it did. It, right. it evolved. It mm. evolved <laughs> past that. Okay. To yeah. a, a social media platform for yeah. people to share their information and ideas. Hey, there's a seat. All right. Well, a good one. Vince, think about just about anything. That has, say, oh, I don't know, use a thousand people as membership. And that amount of people is too big to be managed. A thousand people, you're going to have somebody who's going to steal. You're going to have somebody that's going to get violent. You're going to have people that are going to use that as an excuse to fuck somebody else. <laughs> so mm -hmm. whenever, yeah, whenever your population goes over a certain amount of people, that's the end of it. It doesn't work any further than that. That's the the illusion is that it works. Not the truth. The truth is small works, big fails. There you go. And well, it's, I, I can't even post my broadcast or anything to Facebook now. Ooh, now Vinny's gonna have a meltdown. Well, I was just whining well, about I, other stuff. I will uh, okay. yeah, I'll have to cheat it. That's go ahead. All. I, I'm going to uh I'm gonna I've been considering writing a a post, but you know, if you write stuff too long, people won't read it. <laughs> okay. I write a little bit on RLO sometimes, a little blog. <laughs> right. Uh, I see it over there. Did you? Some people, uh, some people prefer to, to read and won't listen to a broadcast. Yeah, I'm sure. I absolutely believe that. There's some people, and I just think that the verbal word is more direct and more easily. Uh, yes. understood than, in, than the written word because written words can be taken so many ways. Right. And, and you did say easily. And, and there is, <laughs> it is, it is so different <laughs> writing than it is talking mm -hmm. um, yeah. because you can communicate, like you said, with these words here, but when you go to type in them and they're misconstrued, if you don't have it written, uh, I mean, that's why there's grammatical rules, I reckon, right? Or... The way that we're taught to understand the English that we listen to is controlled in a way that we're not really completely aware of. 
Mm. All right, because yeah, what, what, when I'm over here speaking to a Danish man that doesn't speak as good of English, say, as Cirque does, but he's got a knowledge of the language enough to use it, but doesn't use it very often, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're still understanding each other because English is so easily manipulated and it's That's not it, complicated. Yeah. The way to say the words to the, the mouth parts that you use are way less, uh, they're way less uh, an amount of work, shall we say, on the facial muscles. Mm. Okay, so yeah, so to speak in Danish, you have to control your, your mouth and to make certain sounds where in English you're so used to English that you don't know you're doing it. Right. Okay? Right. Well, when we're speaking in broken English in, in Denmark, I'm just amazed on how easy it is to understand me. Huh. And for them to understand it back. But you got to remember, they've got television, internet, so they're, they're unindated with enough English in the first place for them to know some of it. Because it's part of like the internet culture, certain words they don't have in Den Denmark for like heirloom. So when they play online, they have to say heirloom. Yeah. But they don't say heirloom <laughs> because that's not Danish. That's. You know, but they say heirloom, so it sounds like they they get it. But there's hmm. grammar rules to that shit. Yeah, I listen. I, uh, I well watch uh, foreign films a lot, mm. the subtitles, and uh, well, there's there's some languages that uh, they'll have to use an English word in Spanish and French and Chinese. I don't remember Chinese, but Spanish and French. I know I've heard them have to use an English word because that's the word. Yeah, and Rob Works just got his computer set up for his wife. Yay. Got the router set up. Well, he's on here too, so of course. But yeah, he went and moved to where you live, sir. You're now neighbor. Pretty close. Yep. Yeah, it ain't, it's it's a it's a few hours from here, but it so ain't, you, know, like, you could walk yeah. over there and pop him in the nose next time. No, we may have robbed That's just yeah. kidding you. I know that. But see? Yeah. Well we just had to run through <laughs> a little ruck of my room. I had that. I've had that with you too. You're an abrasive son of a bitch, Vince. I am. Just, and I don't make any apologies. No, I know. But you, you expect. Wait a minute. But you expect a lot from others that you yourself sometimes seem a little short on. Maybe. Yeah. I'm just. Hey, I'm taking the opportunity here to speak up for the moral minority. <laughs> I, I like uh, true and proper criticism of. Of me and what I do. Oh, I don't. I don't mean like that bothers you. That's not what I'm talking about. No. Your overzealousness. You know, like you got a fucking cape on when you're, when you're uh, crusading for somebody's rights. I'm a fucking superhero, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't apologize for it. Vinny Bam Boots is on the job, baby. He's out there doing it. All right, I'm mm -hmm. giving you shit, but hey. This is just the internet. It's not, you know, <laughs> you're you just staying sharp for when you got to do it in person. I do it in real life, too. That's right. Well, I realize that. But see, that's what I mean. It's very. Listen, very this, this is something that I've mm. heard, uh, and it comes from the Bible. My brother said it a long time ago, but I always remember mm. a man of double standards. This is paraphrase, a man of double standards is uh, unstable in all other ways, man or woman, whatever. Mm. If you have, if you have, uh, uh, um, certain guidelines for other people that you don't stand by yourself, then what the hell? You know, whatever you have to say is pretty much worthless. Well, what's the most important thing you would have to tell somebody else? Be honest and true. Hmm. Okay. Works for me. You know, I mean, truthful, to sum it up, yeah. I say honest and true, true because yeah. truth. Truth and honesty are two different things. Please explain, Captain. Don't leave us hanging. Well, you can you can not be honest, but be true in the telling of a of, of something, right? Like that's wait like a minute, that's kind of a wait a minute. Oh, okay. So you are going to give yeah. an example, okay? 
and yeah, and also I'll I'll give you the classic example that uh, uh, I heard, and I don't remember. It's been so long ago, decades ago, but uh, so it's back in the day when uh, you know marriage was adhered to. People uh, didn't just you know it's okay to cheat and whatever. So this man and woman had been working together for a long time, and they started getting feelings, and then it ended up where they went to a motel at uh, lunchtime one time. So the good, honest, uh, uh, what do they call the guy that does the motel in there, uh, purveyor of rooms, he says, are you two married? And they were, but not to each other. And they said, yes. Now, they were truthful, but not honest. Because really. right. the implied question was, are you married to each other? Back uh, in the days when morality uh, had more uh, weight in the world. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, no, I no, 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 no. I don't really think so. I have a different perspective on that. Okay. I don't, do. I don't think the, there's just more of us, Vince. The more you get, the more variety you're going to have. And I've talked about the laboratory experiments they did with rats. When you have a controlled population and you undernourish them, it breeds thieves and murderers. Yeah, just yeah, like it's artificial scarcity is the system we live. Same, just right. in time. Yeah. yeah, just same old crap. Just like, but you can also feed them all that they want, and they'll just get fat and lazy. Hmm. Right? Do what? A lot of people, if they're given everything they're they all their needs. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Produced for themselves, then there there comes an expectation that uh, somebody is. You know, entitlement that they that they they're entitled to these things. Yeah. Well, I mean, what are we really entitled to in life? Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, wait a minute. A lot. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to say this though. There are there are traps that you can't get out of because you don't have the uh, information available or ne that's necessary to make a change in the first place. Okay. Like, say, for example, uh, I wanted to live in a ghetto and be on uh, welfare, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, where is the knowledge to stop that life coming from to so I can change it? So uh, you, you know what? You're trapped in your environment, whatever it is, Vince. That's right. Okay. Listen, let me tell you this right here. Hmm. And this is really relative and uh, from Clive and Bundy. When, uh, when the... The right, the mainstream guys over there, Fox and whatever, Sean Hannity, you know, whoever the hell else they was. Uh, Clive and Bundy was their darling. And then when he, he says that he wondered if black folks, and he was driving through the projects over in Vegas and looking and noticing, he says he wondered sometimes, were they not better off as slaves than they are now as the slaves they are now, that we all are slaves to the whole system and how it works. Mm -hmm. And blacks especially have been targeted. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the because they, they, they got kind into believing that civil war was about freeing slaves, and it wasn't. Right. No. That was, it was got nothing to do with the civil all. war. Yeah. Right. It was just thrown in there to make. To, yeah, to cover up. On the cake. Yeah. It was, look, it was to cover up the land grab that the government wanted to do to get more tax revenue. Yeah, there were several reasons. In, uh, yeah, there was money. one reason. It's called money. a central fucking bank. Central bank. That's that's right there. Is if you want to nail it down to one thing, it mm -hmm. is that right there. Central bank. I and what they do I tell you all the time throughout history have played powers against powers. Yep. And uh, Europe, I mean, they wouldn't care if the South would have won or the North would have mm -hmm. won. If the South would have won, we'd have had a lot of little nations over here to be able to have <laughs> wars against one another. <laughs> um. <laughs> right? I I don't. I would probably I don't believe be turned this. on a cross if I said it, but probably I, it's better that the North won than the South. And I, I don't somebody really here, have around a, here saying that. Okay, I don't have a horse in that, but but it, what we were taught was not the truth about what That's the true. damn war was for. It was it to was. consolidate the states and get more tax revenue. It wasn't about any slavery or nothing else. It was to because there was uh uh you know the 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 central banks they had like charters. Rob Works can tell you all about this right here. Mm. Um so at times they would like um 
the charter would, would fall and they'd have to renew it. And then there's like times when they'd be like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew Jackson, he was a mean bastard, you know, mm -hmm. and evil. When it, if you was an Indian, you know, you'd say he's the devil uh, and the <laughs> reaper <laughs> coming for you. But uh, he, his biggest thing he thought was is he killed the he killed the bank, which they just come right along a little while later. Yeah, and I've heard right. joke. That Did it again. The joke is they put his face on the twenty dollar bill to mock him. Ah, yeah. So Jackson, like but he's not on. He, they took him on, put a female on it. Uh uh The twenty dollar bill, yeah. We some. I was reading that when I was. In Scotland, they're putting females on the twenty, and I ain't this, that, and the other. And they still got uh, old banshees. Benjamin. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What well, number president was he? Ben Franklin wasn't the president. <laughs> what? A lot of people. Uh, when you ask oh them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those bar what, quests. What president yeah. is on the twenty dollar mm -hmm. bill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, sir, there's no woman on here. I'm looking at a U.S. Right, United Jackson. States $20 bill. Okay. What no, year is Andrew it? Andrew Jackson. What year is it? I don't know. It's on the internet. 1861 to present. Present. Oh, you're. I'm talking about it. Look at one in your pocket, you butt nugget. I'm not, you can find anything on the internet. But they, uh, Man, they did issue I, the 20... I remember Wait, seeing it. They were issuing the twenty dollar bill and some female Harriet, Harriet Tubman bill delayed there you go. eight yeah. years mm. by Secretary Munchkin, or Secretary Munchkin says. Mm. It's the debut in twenty twenty eight. That yeah. way we can have all the racist and white uh, privileged people out of the way. Hey, how come you don't go in and do something really crazy like, uh, hey, maybe you could join Antifa and become. Terrorist. Am I kicked out again? Of what? Chat. I don't see it. I see, uh, no. Wow, don't burp into the mic, you slob. Slobovian? I don't know. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. Type something, you crazy man. Anyway, what do you want to do? You want to do look. another one, or do you want to call this a night? Oh, wow. What We've do you want to do? We've done an hour? Yeah. That's what I mean. Huh. You got shit on your mind? You want to, um, We never... You, Cause we, we never just, did come to that, uh, this, that link I got. No, I know that. But it was your birthday, and uh, I figured you deserved something. You know, then my gift to you is, hey, let's do a little, uh, pay attention to Vinny on his birthday and do a radio Whee! show. Now, you want, if you want to do some link, I'll stick around to do the link. If you don't, we'll call it a night. Yeah, I'm back over here. Didn't notice a betrayal. Um, yeah, because that's gonna a talk really about interesting it. shit. Okay, let's do yeah, another hour. Let, let's do well. Right. Yeah, let's kind of lead into it because um, this this is what we uh, and I haven't read any of this, but I, I did pick it up when uh, neither did Mary. It Mary back. got wait, well. Mary sometimes I guess the dork table we don't really care all that much in the first place, but uh, eh. but she didn't read much of it, so maybe you'll do better. <laughs> Who knows? Just tell me but where you where the, you're going to start, so I can be where you're at. I don't know. Uh, I'm up here at the top. Okay. But uh, let me just scroll down it for. That's what I'm here. saying. If you scroll and stop, let me know where you stop. Okay. All right. Sorry, folks. We Here's, were uh, not we were not prepared to do this in any way, shape, or form. This is all off the cuff. I think this is relevant right here from uh, what we was talking about, and. Uh, it's right above. It's the a couple of paragraphs up above Part B on the Federal Reserve Act, and it starts with, with uh, subtle treachery. The Fourteenth Amendment it. states, yeah. all persons born or naturalized in the United States, a uh, real human being cannot be born or naturalized in a fiction. Uh, only only artificial entities, persons, can be born or uh, naturalized in an abstraction as the United States. People proclaiming themselves. Now I got to stop because uh, Ryan English, the uh, FBI, uh, he was uh, at the head of the investigation and the prosecution as well. And in court, being able to also be an expert witness, I forget what he called it. I really wish I could remember that. But uh, in there, and he's going into pre state things so the jury can. 
just credit everything that Bruce had to say about all, all of this stuff uh, and this being corporations uh, that exist and separate like um, uh, and, and so Ryan English says, oh, well, it's just a you know, way to set it up that the, the business is taking care of part of uh, whatever, which, you know, in a sense could be a good explanation, except for we see the fact that how they what 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 their motive, we see their motive. We see the means and uh, the methods and to what degree they were, are willing to go to against people. Uh, and they've uh, usurped the people into they are the power. The government is the power. These people then come in and take up positions that uh, are no more than criminal in their the, the Bundy prosecution. Pr criminal. What happens to these guys? Nothing. If you go into a courtroom and, and lie. You're charged with perjury at least. So how this is working is the government has become the master as opposed to the people. Uh, and then they proclaim themselves persons, uh, and they are compelled to perform. I'm back to reading. Compelled to perform whatever rules are attached to the term. One who says, I am a citizen of the United States is legally stating I am not a real living sentient being. That and an imaginary creation of the minds of other men who are fully entitled to tax, regulate, control, and destroy me through my identification and a fiction that is their creation and property. With read that cor affection. correctly, it says. Let me go see what somebody says. But that was here. with affection that is their creation. Oh, thank you. Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you, Grimmer. Or no, thank you, Flash. You posted. Mm, now I didn't. <clears throat> Yeah, I did the – well, Rob was posting, and I didn't want him to think I was ignoring him when I'm on the uh, RLM. Right. Because I usually – you know, I, I don't think he knew we were live. Probably not. <laughs> so I'm letting him know. That's why I'm not paying attention to your input because we're inputting too. <laughs> we're all inputting well, at see. the same time. This is called friction. Yes. Friction. My That's book is going to be called Friction just as soon as I write it. Listen, all work is friction. Right, life is friction. Some of the yeah, best everything. parts of life is friction. Yeah. Mm. You you can get smooth. You can get some good lube going, but you know, <laughs> still friction. that's right. Yeah. You know why people uh, sweat when they have sex, so they don't boy. catch on fire. You bonehead. Well, uh, <laughs> well, I've not had sex, but <laughs> it's all, okay. I enough of that. Smoke. So I can smoke. <laughs> Well, okay. I the power base of Congress room. is the Fourteenth Amendment, which congressmen known know <laughs> is an unratified fraud, and Congress is not shy to invent authority for itself to tax and regulate its citizens slash creations. The Fourteenth Amendment was a milestone in the legalized subjugation of America. Wow, these people are not happy. I, I see frowny faces everywhere, man. What do you think? I think so. Right. Do you feel subjugated by your government? Uh, in in many ways. Like you have to take certain precautions when you go out into this world. Uh, where I live at now, it's you know you you'll run into less friction, but nonetheless, it, that friction can still come yep. uh, to your front door. That's right. Uh, I. Now I'll give you an example. The, uh, uh, the last sheriff, Scott Bradley, he come uh, come by the, my house one time, and I was over laid up, and it was a hot day, and I peeled my clothes off and was laying there about naked, taking me an afternoon nap. Uh -oh. I had the front door open. Pervert. Fan of blowing, blowing on all my glory, and uh, <clears throat> he says Vince, because I know him, you know, first hand, first name basis, and I recognized his voice coming out of the sleep. And he starts to walk in. I said, uh, hey, Scott. I said, hold on. I said, I ain't got nothing on it. Well, I just put some I said, okay, let me get something on here. I put my, didn't want him to think I was doing anything flaky. So I just put my underwear on. Didn't have time to put my breeches on. Walked out there and uh, him and his baby. But I had a joint laying right there on, you know, on the tray right mm -hmm. there on my desk. And, uh, you know, uh, he walked in enough to see it. I'm pretty sure he did. Now, what could he have done that, with that, uh, could he have actually gone to legal action against that? Had he, you know, been an asshole and so of a mind to do so? 
Um, of course. If yeah, but see, you're ifing things, so right, man. right, because because you know, the right, different situation where I'm at. Exactly. Uh, me knowing that so many people that, uh, around the county, and uh, I, you know, I used to go to the sheriff's department all the time, the jail. I'm. Well, where does the subjugate and enter? Where does the subjugated part come in, Vince? Well, when they would then say uh, you're kidnapped and you got to pay money because mm. you had that. Uh, All thing right, right, so there. you're you're being, uh, you're not talking about what did happen. You're talking about what could have happened if your friend had decided to be not your friend. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, but okay. He, 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 he's he's got enough sense on. You know, a lot of cops, even before then, they're like, man, we're not going to fool with that little old joint. I, I've told you the story, I think. I got to tell it again, mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they was out there flying the, the National Guard and the DEA and the state police, the sheriff, game board and all that out there mm-hmm. looking for weed one year. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I was down uh, uh, having lunch, and they all showed up over there. There's piled up in there. And there's old Wesley Potts. He's the uh, uh, inv- chief investigator for the county here. And I, I was their designated driver for them one time. Well, to, went to the store and got them smokes. Anyways, they was fishing down my other friend's little lake he's built. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> I went off down in fishing hole and forgot where I was at. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Well, I after lunch, I go out and I, uh, I, I needed cigarettes. I bought some too. When I got there, but in the meantime, I had some rollers cigarettes what i smoke and i had one rolled up and i went out and i smoked a cigarette here's the dea agent and uh the couple of uh guardsmen out on the uh a picnic table out front and i says you know i'm been a meaning to quit something i said hold on just a minute i went over and i got that cigarette and i went over and i thought it down there on the bench uh the picnic table there uh or that dea i said I've been meaning to quit this. Take this. What would you just get rid of it for me? He looked and he just like shook his head and like the little surprise look. Oh, no, no. No, he says, we're, we're not. We don't care about that little old, something like that. He says, just get that and go throw it away or something somewhere. And I laughed. And I picked it up and I walked inside where there's all that state police captain and uh, Wesley. And then was sitting there and all these other cops whatnot around. And I says, which one of y'all dropped this right here? And I went in and I throwed it down on the table right in front of that captain and Wesley. And that captain, that state trooper, his eyes bugged out. And he's like, <gasps> and I started grinning. No, Wesley, he says, well, you had it. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> okay. Where can you get away with that? Come on. See, Where that, in the world? That's what I, well, something? okay, whoa, whoa, slow, slow down there. I'm John Dillinger. That's my perspective on this whole fucking plant thing is just what you told me. And it should have always been a matter of discretion. But they pushed it to this. uh, They had quotas to fill. They had to arrest so many people to get so many convictions to fill their fucking jails. Yeah. There you go. So they'd lie, cheat, and steal to get... uh, Fucking weed arrest. Fucking the easiest. Yeah, the easiest crime in the freaking world is to, you know, uh, <clears throat> defend against is somebody that's stone eating cookies. <clears throat> oh, what he was, was he doing? Oh, he was watching cartoons. I think it was Casper the Ghost. But he was thinking about shooting a school full of kids. We could tell. Well, we know know these things. Vince, please. I've, yeah. I've, been, I've been in the... Uh, <laughs> You know, when I was right. 16 years old, <laughs> no. the cops came up on uh, me and my buddy. I always wonder where he's at. There's one of the people I've never been able to find. Yeah. I suspect he's probably dead or in prison. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've honestly. got a few of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyways, uh, so the cop came up on us. It's a church parking lot by the little lake out there. And uh, uh, we got a cooler full of beer and fixing to go uh, somewhere. But anyways, in a bag of weed and a brand new bong. So he makes us throw the bong out in the lake and he said, take that weed and dump it out there too. And I was like, tried to dump it off by the edge. I said, I uh-uh, no, uh-uh, all the way out. And then he gave us a ticket for minors in possession of beer. I was on 10 years probation at that time. I was 16 already for 
having been a, a criminal previously down in Texas. See, you bad fellow. Uh, bad, bad, bad. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I lied. Give a uh, stupid. I should have made up some other name. I, only thing I could say was my brother's name. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See, that that to me that's just common sense. Because when we grew up, they didn't have uh, all this fancy shit. And hell, telephone calls were a pain in the ass. Tell a cop you lived in another state, he'd about have a fucking breakdown. Right. Well, there yeah. were a couple of times where the uh, when I was juvenile and I shouldn't have been where I was, just by knowing a street name close to where I was stopped at, I'd say, "Hey, I live over on so and so." Go, okay, go home. Yeah. What are I you was, doing uh, here right now? Oh, I'm go on my way home. Where do you live? Just. Psh. But other times I wasn't so quick. <laughs> wasn't. Thinking. I guess I was about 13 and I drive my dad home. Mm -hmm. Some old boy, some Jake lady had working for him at the time. Uh, he had turned out to have a warrant. They took him. But I was I was 13. I reckon it was before I got my. Uh, it was, I'd already had my first car at 12, but uh, didn't start driving all the time till I was 14. So I was 13. Mm -hmm. I drove my dad home. Mm -hmm. Got pulled over and. Uh, uh, the cop let me go on and drive him on home. It's like, well, I'd rather see you driving than him. Hey, have you ever in your life ever used one of your um, civil rights that you've been guaranteed by the government that they yeah. protect? Which uh, one? Which ones out of ten? Um, the ten biggies. Which ones first, have you used? Yeah. First, first Amendment in, okay. the, in the federal federal courthouse in Las Vegas. Uh, the uh, the Real Liberty Media laminated piece of paper mm -hmm. that I uh, had hung around my neck. Yep. The uh, U.S. Marshal, I, I was up on the front row with uh, Brian Hyde and uh, Sherry Duvalli. And so he comes up and he's like, hey, you've got to be press. And I turn around and there's my, my badge identifier right there hanging. And where do the oh, guy? Okay, oh. Vince, Vince, where do the huh. guidelines to make that uh, accepted the way you did it come from? Because I've it's... heard the story before, but I mean, just be, because see, I think the Postal Service has rules that are uh, beyond government, beyond average Joe. But the shit that we run on is based on some form of postal, the Postal Service, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hey, well, well, I, I've used this. I've used this as an identifier a few times um, to police, actually. And I always whenever I go anywhere, I always carry it with me. Right. And I'm saying the uh, method that you use to make it is what that's you've met requirements because it's being accepted. Hold on. I'm trying to give you a measurement. Right? No, I'm just saying if you if somehow you've magically made it. And it fit the requirements of law enforcement. So oh, I don't know. Well, I you did it, Benny. What do you mean you don't fucking quarter. know? You said you were in federal court with the goddamn thing. Yeah. Where you weren't. Oh, actually, that's the lamination. It's three and a half by. You're more interested oh, no, in the I'll size of it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Well, does that have anything to do? With no, it? I'm. What Four I'm and a half by three and a half. Vince, what I'm trying to say to you is the yeah. process, not the. Hmm. Not the finished end result. You went through some form of fucking steps that accepted by a law enforcement. Or they would have stopped you. They shoot people, these fucking cops. Huh. Hello? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Well, I used it on a state trooper in Las Vegas right. outside the courthouse. Now, inside the courthouse. Right. Uh, to the marshals at the door, I presented it. And, you the know, steps it's that not you... even like It's not even <laughs> like a real nice, thick, hard copy like you would. <laughs> You would see the root. Then they why do you get why do you get past law enforcement with it? What did I don't understand? If you don't understand, says, how the hell could I understand? It says official on it. <laughs> maybe maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Well, if you don't, official, then don't that you make it, want to know what you did <laughs> right so you could reproduce it? <laughs> well, you can look at it and, and read it. Yeah. I, it, uh, I, I, now I took part of this uh, off the template off of, uh, of the internet, and uh, I did change a little bit, and I would have changed a little bit more, I think. Um, I'll read it. Press correspondent, the person who has identified by this document is a member of Real Liberty Media Media, <coughs> sorry, Real Liberty Media News Team. 
The freelance bearer of this card is authorized to investigate and report on newsworthy events, uh, incidents, and persons. And then this part I added Authorized. Myself. By who? Yeah, that's, I mean, right. That's some of the stuff that should be changed here. This is the, first, <laughs> this is the, this is the part that I wrote right here. Okay. I say that this is for identification and notification of intent. And then it has uh, the HTTP reallibertymedia.com, my name, my phone. That's cell phone now. I ain't getting cell phone service out here, so I, I quit paying for it. I probably should have kept the number. But anyways, then it says an about me address yeah. where you can go. Then it has the First Amendment rights and how Congress shall make no law uh, respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech yeah. or the press. Yeah. Or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress. Hey, of Donna. All rights are expressly reserved at all times. No rights waived at any time. That's what it says on the back side. Okay, yeah. all that Donna, aside, Donna. Vincent, wow, you, uh -huh. you just take my simple questions and you just make them so complicated. Can I try this one more time? Uh -huh. Okay. You did something here. You created a thing, whatever that is. I don't care. It could be anything. What I'm getting at is it passed the uh, people who are paid to stop you, let you go by. And I want to know mm -hmm. why. Because <laughs> whatever the process you used worked, you need to figure out what it did that worked. Not improve anything. You got it perfect already. Well, I got my name on there. Uh, yeah, you're still I, stuck on all that. I'm not concerned well, no, about Well, no, I'm trying name. to explain what they – now, what I I did a video. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got almost 100,000 views, I think, on uh, my personal YouTube Ooh, channel. Ooh, big and baby. it was not showing ID to a state trooper. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, in yeah. actuality, yeah. I did give ID when uh, he asked me my name, and uh, I wrote it down. And – now that was that a trick for me doing the writing instead of him writing it, mm -hmm. uh, or was he collecting handwriting samples or what? But I didn't. I had my wallet in my pocket, but I didn't present my state identification form. I asked him, you know, what do you want to see my IDD for? Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. yeah. I'm nervous, stumbling and stuttering a little bit, you know. Yeah, I'm cops, man. You know, some yeah. honest questions, you know. I, I like to have answer to, and you know. Do no, Vin, Vin, Vinny, so? Vinny. Uh -huh. see, now that I'm as old as I am, I see this whole thing a lot differently, too, okay? And uh, there's a, a big discrepancy in, in the way that it's done in, at home compared to where how things are, I guess the word is enforced here, that, or I've got that white, what do you call it, the white something, what have I got again? White something. Uh, white? Yeah. What the fuck are they calling that shit again? You got white, not supremacy, but... Uh, privilege. Privilege, yeah. I got white privilege, remember? Yeah, I do. Well, you got to remember, so I, I predominantly in my life have lived amongst white um, civilizations. You know, I never went spent time in the jungles of Brazil or anything. It's always a city where the white people go because I'd be white. So here I am where there's white people and I'm out, you know, flaunting my white privilege amongst everybody else. They may not look like I do, but we're basically the same tone. You know, some of them are a lot paler, but you know, outside of that, the long hair in that might be a little different. But there's no privilege in being being the same as everybody else people. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't sure. see it. I think it's all the same. You get what you put out, and when you put out shit, you get shit. And that's what I think happens. Listen, uh, I was what? chatting with uh, Rob here. No, don't about... chat with Rob, crazy man. No, no, no. He's, that, he's, he's, he's... Air, a week or two ago, whenever it was, mm. and you know about his move, and I said oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. that um, uh, really it's better a little further north. Um, there's 
And I said, you know, without meaning to appear racist or anything like that, um, you know, it's there's less color up in this certain grid across through here, like where I live at. And Moosey said she didn't know I was racist. I said, well, I'm not. Um, now, am I going to say that there's a difference? Uh, um, what I've called demographics, right? There is a difference mm. in, uh, you know, being the, in what where white people live now. Be white, and you was talking about if you used to go to a ghetto, uh, what would happen there, right? I mean, could you go and live on welfare and, and be in the ghetto, which is predominantly black in most places, uh, and, and be able to to live the same life as another black person, or would you be discriminated against? I I'm gonna figure you probably got the answer to that already. Well, yet. I couldn't have yeah. the answer to that because I'm 60 now, not in my you know late 20s. When things you know, are I've, in early thirties. It's a different world, you know. I, but thirty I years ago, I had I had acquaintances and friends that lived in poor parts of town. I associated with, and most of my life, I've known people that were from the wrong side of the tracks. But uh, I don't judge people by how much money they got. That's stupid. Well, I'm talking about being black and white. There's uh, same a thing. White, oh, white would give me a the, break. White it's, is. White would did not be a privilege if you're in the projects, in the black projects. I'm telling you that. Oh, there. well, that of course, that depends what you're doing there. There's a lot yeah, of different. Right. Just and if anywhere you got any big society, you've got to just know what the fucking rules out. are. Yeah. And yeah. the cops, yeah. you know, it's changed a lot now. It's a lot more blendy, I'd mm -hmm. say. But, uh, you know, a, a white guy was at times not, uh, way back when, was not accepted over uh, because it would draw attention uh, to whatever, you know, the illegality of that, that portion, that section of the society going on. You know. So you think this milkshake they've made out of society is for the better or for the worse? Well, it should be for the better. And in a lot does of ways, it ever it show itself but, as better? But or? yeah, it does show itself. Like when? I know a lot of, I know a lot of blended families. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and it's, They've transcended the racism. Hmm. They, see, Gr Grimner's saying it does sound uh, awfully racist, and I got to admit it does. But um, And he says, however, I would check crime rates for the area I was moving to, whether that is due to the demographics or not. Yeah, I, I realize uh, <clears throat> it sounds racist, uh, and I've lived uh, in – well, I've blended family and uh, lived uh, in a black neighborhood uh, – Fought in them. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of war stories I could tell. But, but, I don't. Uh, Jeez, it I've was, got nothing but uh, good memories of making the wrong turn and ending up somewhere where I didn't know where I was. And going in, all black faces and me and my girlfriend. Okay, w what are you going to have? I mean, there was no color thing about it. This was a black neighborhood we were passing through. See, that's the good part about this. Uh, where we're headed is uh, a human race. We're uh, getting more to uh, and, and but you can't force it. I mean, you can't legislate morality no more than you can. Well, OK, uh, but Vin, Vinny, Vinny, people take this race crap so seriously. It's like like two white guys never said the other guy was a fucking asshole before. You know, like just because you're the same color for some reason that your your loyalty is to that other guy. Well, no, that's a bunch of horse shit. People are loyal to the people that are loyal. And it doesn't really, color is a way to control media and shit like that. But yeah, uh -huh. face on in life, color is probably the least most important thing there truly is. But, it, it, you know, I was mocking my white privilege because, fuck, there's people here are so pasty fucking white. I look dark. But At my 30-year you know, reunion at one uh, they don't my, hold me the guys I went to school says, I really thought you'd have long hair, but you know what? I <laughs> cut my hair off a long time ago because I did uh, a little more than four years on the lamb, and uh, I had to, uh, uh, you know, have to have that stellar appearance. I've had a cop say, "What are you doing with that cop haircut?" You know, um, hey, it works. It's part of. It's like putting on a cowboy hat. It has uh, uh, there's connotations that people have in their minds about what they see. Mm -hmm. So. When I got pulled over when I was on the run out in California, my buddy uh, Eddie, mm -hmm. uh, who went to heroin, and he's probably dead. 
no doubt. Remember us a long time ago. But uh, yeah, no no ID. But what did I have? I had money in my in bills in my front pocket, a wallet in my back pocket. Uh, when we got pulled over, I put one hand uh, up on the uh, you know out the window right there, and yeah, put my other yeah, one on the yeah, dash. I know. I've been through right. this show. Yeah. Right. So all appearances, right? Now, had I had long hair and shaggy looking, and I didn't say and do all the right things, uh, they'd have probably uh, hauled me in right there because I didn't have any thing that had my name on it. I was on the run, just made up a name. And uh, <sighs> I ran and lived like that for a while. But <sighs> yeah, what is in the name? We go back to that right there. There's my name. I gave my name to that trooper over the, even though I didn't uh, – Give them a state well, ID. You kind of straight off, this. yeah, but you straight off the point. Uh, what I got off that, mm, what they're trying to to make a, a specific point about is that your name is a fiction and you are not your name. But we have been indoctrinated into this name world where your name is everything. Your yeah. signature is your most valuable freaking asset. You can buy a freaking piece of property with your signature and some mm-hmm. paperwork from a banker. It's amazing what you can do with your name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got back onto the, you know, running. I was going on to something new here, trying to well, be. Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go away from here, let me. Okay. Let me yeah, it's birthday boy. Grimner. Okay. From Grimner. He says so. that. Uh, there's a, a lot, probably a lot more white methods than there are Mexican or black ones. Mm-hmm. And those people yeah. are the ones he'd like to avoid. They steal anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's why I'd, uh, I'd run, I'd take sheriff actions here on the mountain. I said, oh, one person, don't bring that person around ever. I said, you don't come past uh, down this road, no, no further past the church up there. You, that's where you need to go. You ain't welcome here. Don't come back ever. Well, because that, that's, you can't trust it. Yeah, that's man-made have, too. That was yeah. manufactured to be that way. That's no, exactly. But the blacks, they were infiltrated and they brought the cocaine in and crack, and then they gave uh, mandatory minimums where white people were getting uh, for powder. They were getting let, you know, not even have to go to prison or whatever. And, mm. uh, they populate. This was the very beginning of okay, this. Okay, but you're talking about uh, blacks. Yeah, the they've way been I understood targeted. this, right? But meth was a, a hell's angels drug. Yeah, the angels on meth, that was crack, crack cocaine. Okay, check it out a bit, a yeah. little bit. I don't think so, but if you say so, I, it was a biker club that was um, no, where all the meth, meth shit now, came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's meth is attributed to white people. You don't see a lot of black people. I'm, doing I'm agreeing meth. with that, yeah. But that's why I'm saying it is because that's why I, I believe that the meth trafficking started with the bikers because it stayed white. There's something in the uh, white guy. Let me finish, though. Well, Uh in the day, when the 80s, when we were all doing weird shit, I remember the the meth was, um, it would attract the white guys, but not the rest of us. I'm I'm half white. I look white, but my father was not 100% Caucasian. Okay. Right. So I've got uh-huh. that mixed blood shit, and when I tried that shit, I didn't like it. I went, man, I didn't keep doing that. Other people were like, oh, this is the... And I went, nah, go away, oh, I'm busy, oh. So either I have a superpower and I'm capable of turning my nose up at highly addictive drugs, or there's something in my bloodstream that just, that stuff didn't do it for me, but it did it for Whitey. That's what I always thought. Mm. And I did well, my I did my share of you know uh, experimenting with shit in the '80s like everybody else did to some point, and some things I wouldn't touch. Just uh, nah. Meth, meth, and and cocaine will make people devious. Yeah, both will chew you up one way or the other. But I think that meth was designed for a white body. It's chemicals. You, they add chemicals together, right? Certain chemicals. I don't think there's enough difference between being black and white inside. The, I think there's the enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, you're well, going Hold up. on. Let, let me stop, though, and, the and, whole, and add to that for you, actually. Uh, no, because it, it's just like ahead, eating chili. Ahead. Vinny, it's just like eating chili. It's got nothing to do with your color. It's got to Uh-oh. do with your fucking wiring. You might be right. And I'm we saying. We got some of these super hot peppers, dude. 
because it, it, it's a mixture of specific chemicals to attract a specific mind. And this Might stuff right goes way deep. Come on, this goes. This stuff is government. What it goes way deeper than we're capable of even being able to have a real decent conversation about. We can only assume. But I've read enough shit from the CIA interrupting, you know, being involved in drugs. What I do know of bike gangs. Um, hmm. You know, they're not running, they're not running like a, a not-for-profit business there, sport. No, no. So they, you guess. know there's interrelation certainly, but the uh, the Mexicans are the ones that uh, are now supplying all the. Well, yeah. I don't know how to break this to you, but I'm probably one of the only Mexicans in this whole country. Mm-hmm. You could probably You're count really all the Mexicans in Denmark on one hand, but uh, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not even a whole Mexican, so now nah, you're not going to find Mexicans here. They have, uh, but you'll find well, meth they, here. They were making it out of this uh, pseudo uh, ephedrine. I don't ephedrine. know. But you can uh, find was, that. Show Nicole cold pills. Oh yeah, I read about. I seen that. What is that? Breaking Bad or something? No, some Netflix or HBO or something show about making cooking your own crack or something like that. Wasn't that Breaking Bad? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, same principle. He was a chemist. Yeah. yeah, he was like a chemist. Yeah, he made the, the best. Okay, of and all I'm saying to you, Vinny, all the, is all that. All the chemicals, the process of the recipe has been changing over years. Right. Back in the biker days, it was phenyl but Different cultures would react differently to, like, I don't like to drink milk. I like milk in my coffee. That's it. Don't want to drink plain milk. I don't like it. In all my life, I've had all these people harping on me about, you don't drink enough milk, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 60 years old, I still don't drink enough of the shit. But, I've been a milk drinker my whole life. See, there you it's go. And I'm telling you. Almost to a fanatic. Okay. Yes. It's, your body is um, designed to accept certain shit by nature, yeah. beyond your knowledge, like, beyond your control. Whatever, whatever likes and dislikes you have inside you. When you eat, oh, I like the taste of that. Oh, I eat something else. Oh, I don't like that. Taters well, and gravy. Okay, but see, it can't. Most people of the same culture will like the same things, and I think it's the wiring that we share, the inside stuff that you can't control it. And I think drugs are designed to attack certain <coughs> certain kinds of people. The way you think might it might. Be uh like they got these what, like Ritalin for little kids. It's yeah. math. It's freaking the same damn shit. There's one drug they give. They call it for uh, kids with uh, ADHD and other people uh, that don't have it or something. It acts like a speed to them or the ones that supposedly slows them down. Right. Hey, okay. t- Chaskura, type uh, type some more in there about what you're talking about here. Uh oh. What do you mean? Methamphetamine is actually a nearly complete reduction of the normal uh, phetamine molecule. It has less on it, not more. So it's less reactive, less able to be moved out of your body. The critical uh, chemical in it is called the phenyl group. It's basically a specific type of six carbon atoms in a hexagon thing. Uh I guess he was typing it in there when I asked him, so I yeah, hmm. thank you. Wonder, uh, I wonder what that vibrates at. Yeah, so it makes me think if it, there's less of it, maybe it vibrates slower. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It but stays you see in you longer because of it. You see these people on uh, meth with uh, sores. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, Pictures. Yeah, and always but picking not, on it. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I will tell you, out in Vegas in 90, uh, well, later part of 90 sometime, anyways, guys next door. They were well drillers, and uh, uh, that was one of the times that uh, I used uh, meth for a little short while. And, and it was way back in the day when it was the man, that was good. So, anyways, I do some right, and I'm like, I look it out their window, and he's got some of these real nice old classic cars that aren't running out there. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a Camaro, and, and I'm looking, and there's like three guys sitting in the Camaro, and one guy standing outside talking to him. And I'm like, hey, who's, who the hell are these guys? And they look out, 
there's nobody out there. And I look right there and I open the door. There's nobody there. Shut the door, look out the window. There they are. Uh, so at that point, you got to understand that it makes you see things that aren't there. So mm. people would claim it, it to take you into a, a, a different dimensional view of things, even, you know, seeing demons or spirits or, you know, there's a lot of uh, things that could be discussed on that. There are a lot of things that you can go into a, a grocery store and buy off a shelf that if you do a, enough of it, it will kill you. Yeah. So, you know, the illusion of, you know, safety and, oh, the government's there to help us. And, and where are we at? You know, people die all the time of uh, from using the services that we've been conned into believing exist. You know, medical and police and all this and that and the other. And it's just illusion. It's bullshit. None of it's real. It's all crap. Right down to the people that sell you the freaking water, electricity, and food. It's all garbage. And we could do a lot better. And we all know this as collective. We know this part. But where, where everybody fucks up is, in my opinion, is they're just stuck on fucking oil. And two is they're stuck on currency. It's about money. As long as we're living a life of money then this is the shit that's going to happen to the people that don't get enough money, whatever that is, to not, you know, share the fluoride. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, there's got to be people. Oh, that know, you did get no, it. and other people that are, you know, just buying into. It. Well, you were saying. I just think that there's a certain kind of a government intrusion into your life. Where at some point you can't break away from it. Where, you know, what would you do? There, well, let's, people let's talk go about, ahead and take that. Let's but, take this. But wait, 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 I'm not even done okay. yet. People All talk right. about the last 30 fucking 40 years since I was eight, since 1980. I have just watched this life just slowly decay. Came from a, a, an industrial nation that made every fucking thing. And when I turn 20, it all starts to fall apart. So the last 40 years of my life was watching America disintegrate into the bowl of shit it is today. And yet and it's all been created. Right. And, and yet, but and the politicians worked. lie and the media lies. And then we get people that just continue to live the lie, but they themselves don't understand that. <laughs> it's a paradox, Vinny. I didn't mean to cut you off. It is your birthday, no. but uh -huh. I just wanted to straighten that out because I'm not better than anybody else. I'm just different than other people. And other people don't see the error in their way because they're um, they're connected to Mother Tit. And without Mother Tit, they're helpless. I don't fucking care if I'm helpless or not. It doesn't matter. I've lived a good life. I can't expect anything more than what I got. So living in fear of being ill when there's so much remedy available. <laughs> So much information available on the internet to warn you. Don't do this. Hey, if you have this problem, do this. If you're not feeling good, try this vegetable. <laughs> so all the knowledge is right here at our fingertips. And most of the time, what we spend our time doing is arguing about politics. Not me. I'm not bunching with politics. Well, I was just promoting a, you know, a little hope for the the yeah. fellows out there and the fellow ets and <clears throat> just try to remind people, you know, um, you get what you give, you know, whether you know it or not. And sometimes I think, uh, me and sir are a good example of that. Sometimes it doesn't, it's not clear to the person being upset that they're upset. It takes a while and they need to, and then after they get through that, step out of it and look on it and say, Oh my goodness. And you'll get the result you get, which would be the truth. And people will tell you, oh, I didn't see it that way at the time. I get it now. That's what, you know, that's what partnerships are for, I think, for, for you to get better. <laughs> deal with this life shit that you got to do away from your little um, home when you got to go out in the real world and interact with these. You know, I don't care for it too much sometimes. I don't mind it here. If I was in America, I would just despise it because everybody speaks English. You know, 
So here it's pleasurable because not everybody does. And some of them just don't want to, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so on your birthday. Wow. I've, yeah, I've got a pretty good life. Uh, yeah, I, I'm well, I, I think well, most of us I'm really well do. Like, uh, I've got rheumatoid arthritis and disability and well, well below uh, any poverty level for sure. But you know what? Hmm. I, and I've been asked, how do you live on that? I just, well, <laughs> you got to live on what you got, right? Mm. So it's not uh, not what you, how much you got, but uh, hell no. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I mean about the partnerships over life is there's always somebody looking for a skill or a, a favor, one or the other. I need this done, and I don't know how to do it. You know, and over life, when I was. Uh, free in the states my younger days i had a great time putting things together hey i know this guy that knows this girl that knows this other and bringing everybody together to make the thing that they wanted to do so there you go and now i'm old and done so now i can just fuck off and play on the internet watch old movies make shit in the house <laughs> play with the dog uh, i don't i didn't uh i think i had enough of that traveling and going and doing so i'm good where other people would be bored i suppose yeah, yeah i want to get back out but i also want to stay home i'm kind of uh ah oh, you you haven't there. crossed the threshold huh you're just hanging on the Man, razor's I'm, edge i'm threatening you know i'm threatening but hmm. uh now i it, when it's supposed to happen it'll it'll happen it'll come that's uh sides that's were I've chosen been. for you then right yeah i i feel like yeah. if i uh if I don't try to force it, uh, I can feel it coming and know when to uh, slip into the stream, right? Flow light. Well, what right are you along. what are you going to do when the state forces you to choose your master? Then what are you going to do? Well, I've never been forced to choose. So I guess you I, see it coming. I guess ever? forced to accept. Maybe if you're in a bigger place, do you see it coming? There's a there's a there's a lot of possibilities. I'm going to tell you that, and uh, a lot of things been being predicted for a really long time that ain't never come come about you know martial law and whatnot this and that mm. civil war mm. revolution mm. but you know what mm. what all that stuff's in place that it could happen all the people are conditioned for that to happen from the uh the trump haters to the trump lovers that that's one perfect storm right there yeah. uh, let uh let trump decry decree the constitution and the call to arms and see how many really armed to the teeth people don't wouldn't show up uh but then what about the military would he i don't know there's there's a lot of possibilities hmm. of what could happen but you know what i say ah oh, man i i live life every day and thank you to the future Hoping for the good, but also realizing that you know things could go go bad. Things could happen. You could have a high storm and be out of power for a month. You know, what are you gonna do? What if you got a broke leg and can't uh, get out and chop wood? Stay warm. <laughs> what else? Well, are you prepared? I mean, you got uh, you got a can opener and plenty of canned goods and dry goods and a way to fetch water. That's a lot of thing right there. People wouldn't consider as water. Hmm. If you lose, especially in a city, man, water goes out. You're screwed. Bad for a while. Yeah. No, you're you're beyond screwed. Whatever screwed is, you'd be lucky to be screwed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been in disasters, and oh boy, uh, I get to see if, if the water had a gone. One. Yeah, we had no electricity, but we still had water. Yeah. Well, I'm I know from experience how easily things can go wrong. You know. Right. One one minute, you know, you're sitting there watching the television set. And the next minute, there's an earthquake. Yeah, what if you're taking a trip across the country and break down on an icy road off, and, off the edge and nobody sees you? <laughs> yeah, like in misery. Uh, <laughs> you no, killed my misery. <laughs> anyway, Rob uh, Works threw up a link called 12 Dozen Places. To educate yourself I see that online for free I threw that into the uh, 
into the notes for the show tonight, Rob Woods, if you're listening. And if you're not, I'm going to put, I'm going to put in parentheses after it. Thanks, Rob Works. So he will be immortalized in our show today. You know, we have really uh, good people over here at Liberty Media. Very educated people as well. Hell yeah. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, I think, uh, except for, for Kate, if everybody's kind of given, forgiven for uh, my going and kicking and shitting and pissing all over. <laughs> oh, well, you know. Uh, I, you, I think Kate, Kate is softened too. You know, you know uh, too many people I have seen, you know, right? Vinny, too many people saw that movie, My Cousin Vinny, and they believe it's true. See? Oh, wait, I want to brag about something. Me and Cirque were. She was surfing movies yesterday, and she puts on this movie, and in the beginning of the movie, I look up over to see it, and it's got red clay. They're driving through red clay. I went, oh, they must be in Georgia, and I went back to what I was doing. And it, well, they're in Alabama. You were close, because <laughs> Alabama, where the red clay is, is close, right next to each other. So even after all this time, I missed I missed a uh, a little, but I noticed it on the movie, but I, I missed it by one state. Yeah. So I thought that wasn't too bad. I was in the right part of the country. I would have thought Oklahoma, you said red clay, out in the, where I lived for a few years as a, as a kid mm-hmm. out in the country. I saw milk a goat and a uh, cow, and chickens and rabbits. Right. And but in, in my cousin it. Benny, it was Miss, uh, Mississippi. It, it was in Alabama. So, huh. but it's also, it's in, I've been there. through Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. That was probably the only part of the whole fucking movie that wasn't bullshit was the, the, the kind of. clay getting the mud, getting stuck in your tires. But the rest of it was nonsense. You know, I've been all across the country like you and to see all the different uh, formations and how the, the land is, is layered and uh, how it's all been worked in water is pretty amazing deposits. You know, that's why you've got red clay in Georgia oh. or Oklahoma. It's because it was laid down in big deposits. I'll be 10 minutes. It's telling the wife I'll be up in a bit. Well, we're about 10 minutes short of a show. Here. Yeah. And I've got our notes all ready to go. <clears throat> so when we uh, break part and disband, I'm going up and calling it a night. All right. Well, I've enjoyed doing this right now. Me too, Finney. Fuck, I like art. And there's nobody better to argue with you. Uh, with It's you and Mary. I like Mary, too, to argue. You and I have been doing this for uh, several years now. But we, Yeah, years. but it's not it's not real. We're just bullshitting around. It's different. Yeah, well, you see things well, yeah. one way. I see them another. But uh, it's, you yeah, know. We see some things the same, you, too, though. You, right. But the, well, yeah. But that in itself, too, is still a very individual personal outlook that you'll you'll look at the same thing i'll see it and i'll think something differently about the same thing but i don't know it doesn't it doesn't uh hit me as hard as it hits you sometimes i'm more about uh what i can physically see reading text and people getting you know their feelings hurt ah that good this is life if you're not getting mad at somebody you're probably not alive some of us are like that, you know. We we got this uh, relationship with anger over a lifetime, so it's hard to uh, it's hard to let it go, not not play with it. Sometimes it's like an old friend. It's very unsettling. You know what you're familiar with is not always good for you. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you get conditioned, huh? Right, and that's what I mean about all of us, me included, to some levels of uh, social whatever. I've been conditioned. My condition is different than yours. They're similar. You know, I keep my hands off other people. Uh, I would defend myself if I have to, but I wouldn't attack anyone or any. There's nothing I can see doing that. Maybe to defend somebody else, but it's not likely where I live. Uh, Hello. After I left last night, one old boy had to get put down, put his own cousin down. He didn't hit him. He, he just had to slam him on the ground a couple of times. Alcohol makes us do all Getting out of line. Well, yeah. Well, he, there you go. In there. See, because when, yeah, you're, yeah. when you're out of your – when, but when you're out of control on alcohol, that – come on. 
How do you blame somebody? You just knock them out and wait until they wake up. Well, sometimes <laughs> it comes to that. I don't. I, but I got the notes all done for the show. I called tonight's show, for those of you listening out there, on this uh, 15th of October, 2019, for the Happy Birthday Vincent show. That's hey. what I called it, Happy Birthday Vincent. You're a, and, uh, what a guy. Yeah, we discussed your birthday to your last days and uh, the notice of betrayal, part two. And Rob works through us a 12 dozen link I threw in there for people's perusal if they go and open up the stuff. Okay. And we've uh, we've talked about that uh, in relating to your link there. That uh, uh, What was it called here? Oops, wrong one. Notice of betrayal. Notice of betrayal. Freedom yeah, Club this. USA. I just we, took uh, off the Freedom Club part. Yeah, we we discussed the uh, that what it entails too. This this betrayal. That's why I said part two. Back. Yeah. Uh huh. Because so we we can go on with that some more. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot there. I didn't have a reading voice at all. Man, uh, well, we left off at the Federal Reserve Act because mm-hmm. I went through that. Uh, I I read up to that. So B. Federal Reserve Act. Anyway, yeah. if you uh, we're gonna big... we're gonna do the dork table on Saturday. I don't know if Mary's gonna be available or not. She may come. She may not come. If you come, join us. Um, Let's we'll so, see where it goes. I didn't yeah, do radio at all last. Week. I know you didn't. You were supposed to be a sick puppy. Yeah. Somebody catch that fish. My no. uh, I talked to my brother yesterday. He had the same thing here, and it lasted like. Uh, a week and a half for two weeks. Now, I got it a week ago last Sunday for a day, and then I was like, good until uh, I went to bed Thursday night and woke up Friday. It was like, oh man, and just got worse and worse. Terrible, terrible sick. Well, I heard all I'm that. Still hearing my voice even now. But uh, uh, I tried to flush it out last night. I did a pretty good job. I'm feeling much better. I just need my, my voice back. My tummy was like yucky, yuck this morning. Whiskey, whiskey will do that. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel good now. If they say this too shall pass. Well, that's uh, life. And yeah. I still, I know it's ill and whatnot, but um, I don't consider like two or three days. That's not any death threat or any of that. That happens well, every I'm, couple of years, I suppose. It's probably a blessing to get it. You know, whatever it is. Now I'm gonna be immune uh, to it. Yeah. against any of this. Uh, yeah. Anything comes along later in the. And, and you know, you never know. You might have got whatever you got from somebody else that got. I did inoculated. get it from my friend Daniel smoking the doobie with him, Ooh. and I didn't think he was really sick. I thought he was just being a little worse. Oh, you see, usually when you're coughing and hacking, you're not uh, communicable anymore. <laughs> it's before well, I, all that when you don't look sick that you make everybody else sick, and no, when I you start know. showing signs of it, yeah. Your body's reject. Oh, get what? Sick. Think about His it. Son didn't get sick. Think about well, this, get... Vincent. When uh, when you're spewing and you're coughing and sneezing and all that shit, you think that you've gotten people sick before that part. That part, your body's rejecting crap now, so it's probably you know that dormant. I blew my nose one thousand times last <laughs> week. One thousand times. Can you imagine? How fast you can go through a box of cleaners. Okay. So, look. There it is. One, two. I'm sorry. 998 times. And it's been a thousand <laughs> before. Yeah. There's two left right there in the box. Can you imagine? Well, that is a lot of snot. That's way more knowledge than I ever thought I'd need in that Super department. Snot. Yeah. Wow. I thought I, yeah. I I guess I've been enlightened. Who knew this was going to ever happen? Thanks, Vince. Your birthday, and I get the present. Yeah, you're welcome. It's amazing how much abuse your nose can take. Maybe your nose. I got a Jewish nose. Well, you could. No, I don't want no, 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 no. I got the vitamin C to prevent the nose from having the problem. No, it's not for me. Thank you very much. You know, or, stop. you know, just a little bit. Not Well, I don't want, like, what you went through. I don't want to do that. You think I just got a life goal or something? Put my that on my bucket list. I'll be sick as Vinny someday. <laughs> my friend Ed I was talking about that went to the hair run. Uh, mm. Probably dead, undoubtedly. Yeah. Uh, 
he had a huge, huge nostrils. Huge. I mean, it's like you could put a big lighter up in that thing. How nice. nostrils, right? Yeah. Huge, huge. Yeah. Huge. I'm wow. telling you. Huge. Okay. The biggest now, nostrils I think I've ever seen. I think huge. for tonight, instead of, um, we got shows on the RLM. RLM.com. Check them out. There you go with that. Now, what we're going to do here that's a little different, we're going to let Vincent end the uh, In a Perfect World show and give him the last whatever time it is until the hour, I guess. And uh, say whatever you want to leave behind for us, Vince. Make a statement to the people, you big old bonehead. <laughs> well, I was loading this up here. How about we say salute, uh, power to the people and to the plant? Uh, mm -hmm. that we may keep what we produce not be uh, taken from the given to somebody that maybe ought to contribute something else not be put upon by laws that are not uh, not lawful by legal that's not lawful so we be not killed and uh, kidnapped and held for ransom for things that there's no crime in life and that uh, people come to understand what it is, this uh, system of occupation that we're under. Hal Anthony talks about it every Sunday here at Real Liberty Media. 12 o'clock out on the Pacific side of the uh, world, where our very own Cal Boateng is at right now. Uh, I got the pleasure to meet that man on my trip around the country. I, I got to say, I got an amazing life. Uh, 55, I never... Never give consideration when I was younger to ever live so long. Uh, we've had a couple of people pass from here that uh, were close and near and dear here at Real Liberty Media, Don and, and Becky. Uh, I'd like to say that, uh, in short, that, uh, well, will people wonder who you are? Well, as long as, uh, as there are those of us that remember it, that'll certainly be the case. And uh, some of you are especially Becky is immortalized uh, in, in writing and leaving behind a record pictures and, too. Yeah. Sharing, sharing a life and being a positive influence in the world and hoping to be the change that, uh, uh for me, it was me more to just change. I thought to, to sit out here, all this stuff we talk about, uh, to bring it to the attention of others and to make a change in the world. Um, uh, but I think uh, more and more I, I find myself changed. Uh, it's not a line you cross over. It's a direction you go. And always going towards towards the direction of right. And there is an absolute. I do fully believe that. There's some blurred lines along the way. Um, certainly got to give consideration. You know what? Uh, Anti said this the other day. And I've, I've copied it. It says, uh, anyone has a right to support or fail to support anything at all and still be within his face. It's an individual thing and there's no good or bad, just difference. Uh, and I, I added a little in parentheses onto the end to that. And I says, where do we go from here? That's, that's the question. Where do we go from where we're at right now? Because you can't uh, magically imagine into a society that, uh, would be perfect and right and go there automatically. This, you know, you can't go make a protest and make it all right. It's a individual, everybody one, one step at a time and finding that unity, even, even through our difference in diversity, uh, realizing that it where the powers that be, how they use that against us. And always it's been working a long time, dividing conference. Uh, we got to come past that. We got to uh, let go of uh, some of our prejudices that we hold and, and suffer or or love uh, so much. Uh, and that right there can't be forced. It has to be exampled and, and work past it. That means we can't be afraid to, to share words or use words that might offend somebody else. Uh, sometimes they're necessary to say and ideas are necessary to uh, to discuss and to expose and to consider, and even though we'll have a different viewpoints. And uh, I think we can come together. An example, uh, 
what what we need to do here, what where it's coming to, where we got a chance of tipping the world right side up. We got the collective power and the ability to do it in this day and age by one by one realizing and recognizing that uh, what the world should be and those that uh, have it against us and to uh, depose these these powers. Yeah. Can we do it? I think so. Thanks for listening, everybody. And uh, yeah, go check out the schedule, reallibertymedia.com. Thanks, Flash. This is my friend way over there. Uh, <laughs> we've uh, spent a lot of FaceTime uh, together. Happy uh, birthday, you old bastard. Thank you, man. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Night.